I uh, understand you grew up down south. Mm-hmm. Whereabouts? Me and my mother, we moved around a lot. Uh-huh. Uh, she's a country and western singer. Oh. Mel is a big country music fan. Yeah, I love it. Has your mother uh, recorded anything that I might have heard? There you go. Um, not yet. She just recorded a demo that, uh, of a song she wrote. She and her manager down in Nashville trying to sell it to a record company. Oh. I'll keep my eye on the charts. What's the title? I don't really remember. Yes, you do. You told me all about it. Lies before breakfast, harness oh. for lunch. <laughs> That's a grabber. Mm. So, uh, is uh, Nashville your hometown? No. Oh, okay, then. <clears throat> I'm gonna be late for class. So, uh, you want the car keys? Because I can go back to the house and get my bike. Oh, no. No, it's okay. I don't have to be there till 2. I'll just catch a ride with Mel and Dorian. Okay. Thanks. I'll see you at the student union. Mm. See you later. Good day. Later. Kelly, did you finally take your car over to Leo's for a tune-up? Uh, no. I sold it. You sold it? Yeah, I, um, I was concerned because uh, it didn't have a passenger side airbag, and after what happened to Blair, I was a little freaked out to drive it anymore. <laughs> yeah, I can't say I blame you. I'm not exactly thrilled with that rental I've been tooling around in lately. Wow, oh, you too, excuse me? Have a good day, Kelly. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna check out that uh, source I mentioned to you earlier. Wonderful. I hope your technique improves. Yeah, well, win some, lose some. Kelly? About your car. Um, Dorian, it's sold. It's gone. Honey, doesn't it seem a little bit drastic? It's not a big deal. I just bought you the car last year. I, I know that. It was making a horrible noise and, and... Like I said, it didn't have a passenger side airbag. You know, uh, if, if Patrick Thornhart's car had a passenger side airbag, maybe things would have been different. Maybe Blair wouldn't have lost her baby. Kelly? House star. Still in isolation. It's so horrible, I can't even think about it. Two weeks is almost up. Dr. Sands will soon tell us that the bone marrow transplant was a complete success. If it's a success, it will be. should be asking you that. Honey, you've been so preoccupied lately. Just Joey. I was upset. I'll be fine. Listen to me. There isn't anything in this world that I wouldn't do for you. There isn't anything that you can't tell me. Trust me, okay? Because I will always be there for you, no matter what. There isn't anything that we can't deal with together. Thank you. But there's nothing to tell.
Bloody Marys. After a ball game, it's time for a beer. Yeast, hops, and complex carbohydrates. <laughs> Nature's perfect food. Oh, I'd love to hear you spell that line to Nora. Oh, <laughs> I don't have the strength. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Tell me again uh, how you got so sore. Gravity. You kind of had to be there, I guess. <sighs> oh. Well, did you find out anything about uh, Drew? Not much. <clears throat> oh! Whoa! Oh, oh, whoa, easy, easy. Oh, it feels like there's a Swedish woman named Helga on my back. Oh. oh. I'm sorry. <sighs> I mean, that could be arranged, but... <laughs> I'm just so desperate. I've got to find out some information about Drew. Mm, I know, I know. That's... The little weasel? Yeah. Yeah, I know. It just uh, wouldn't exactly be good for me to put Bo Buchanan under hot lights. He's got one of those suspicious cop minds, you know. Yes, and you've got one of those brilliant investigative reporter minds. You didn't find out anything? Well, Drew and his mom moved around a lot. They were always short of cash. Kid grows up like that, he's bound to pick up some grifter skills along the way, just as a matter of survival. Drew, a con artist? No. He's always been so, you know, soft-spoken, mm -hmm. so sincere. Mm -hmm. You're right. Yep, hallmarks of a true con artist. Oh, you gotta figure, he's pulled something like this before. Chances are his mama knows all about it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Why'd you stop? You got a pack. Oh, what? You didn't finish my massage. Well, don't you feel better? Not quite yet.